Alright guys, welcome to the last tutorial where we are finally going to be testing our final product and see how it works and if it works. So what I did while you were gone is I actually uploaded the analysis folder which has the analysis A script in it, uploaded to my server, and also um, just one little thing. In the last tutorial, I think it was average decrease percentage. I accidentally had that as an integer, so I went ahead and I changed that back to a float. So if you guys were copying me from my last tutorial, remember that uh, that should be a float, not an integer. So now if we go ahead and click on analysis A, we can see that it has zero rows so far, which basically means that it didn't analyze any data. So in order to analyze the data, just go ahead and click on analysis and click on your script. And whenever it does it, hopefully we don't get any error messages. And as long as nothing's popping up, that's a good sign so far. So what we need to do here is go ahead back to our table and refresh and see what we get. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. We have some information in there. So go ahead and click Analysis A. It says it has five rows. And yeah, it's looking pretty good. All of our tickers, it ran through them successfully and it has data. So what I would do right now is I would actually have to go through each of these tables since we know that this data is valid already. And I would actually need to, um, you know, either through Microsoft Excel or maybe just with a graphing calculator or something, figure out if these numbers are correct but right now at first glance they're looking pretty correct looking like we did a pretty good job here so let me talk you through what each row means one last time so each of these stands for one company Netflix, Ford, Yahoo, Adobe and GE now the number of days is different because for Netflix when did we analyze that for? Um, let's see it was December 19th two 2011 until today so basically from that date until today it went up four days and I actually think I ran um, the script like a, a week ago or something and by that I mean stock downloader so that's why I may not have the full two weeks it may be only one week or something but anyways days increase means how many days did it increase after it went down now the percentage of days it increase is basically if you take the total number of days of data it has and you put four over that number so basically if we look at this the GE is really easy to see the days increased is three the total days is three plus one which is four so the percentage of three over four is 75 percent one over four is 25 percent it just is another way of taking this over the total basically a percentage of how likely or how many days does that increase out of 100 so the average increase percent is a little bit different what this is is every day that it increases it increases by a different amount some days it increases by one percent some days two and a half percent some days one and a half percent it takes all those averages and kinda figures them all together and gives it to you in this number right here and these next three are just for the decreasing so basically in that time span it decreased one day which was 25 percent of the data and it decreased by an average of nine or excuse me almost one percent so now this Bucky's buy value and Bucky's sell value is it basically takes the average decrease percent and it multiplies it by the percentage of days decreased and we get that value right there so if we see 25 times negative one or something close to negative one gives you this and if we have 75 times 1.17 and that's what we end up with so it's pretty much like an indicator that factors in not only how many days but also the strength of change so there you go there you have it I know this is uh, kinda confusing but hey if you guys ever work with uh, you know get a job in programming or PHP they're gonna have you write a bunch a lot harder more confusing scripts than this and also it's gonna have you you know work with a whole lot more data than you know just five rows so this is what you guys get used to and uh, yeah it's one of the uh, bad things about being a programmer but hey it was fun thank you guys for uh, sticking with me for my first project hopefully you guys learned a little something and again don't forget I am going to be taking all of this code and you guys can have it for free on my website if you go to tnbforum.com it's all there for you guys you don't have to pay for it just go and grab it and play with it so again 
one last time. Thank you guys so much for watching, and uh, it's been fun. And I, uh, guys, will see you. Uh, well, I'll see you around.